Relationships and torture. So this is gonna be a really short video building off of the video that I just released last night about toxic teenage love featuring Twilight. But building off that video, I just kept thinking about how that movie Twilight had so many young girls in a chokehold, including myself. I loved Twilight when it first came out and how aspiring or fantasizing about a relationship like Bella and Edwards is really kind of sick. I mean, Bella really wanted to become and did become a monster for that man. She's just so into pain, it's almost intoxicating for her. And that got me thinking about the Fifty Shades franchise. I admittedly have not seen all of the Fifty Shades movies, but I did read two of the books when they came out, and I did see the first film when it first came out. And the similar theme is super plain girl and handsomely hot guy, and the idea of entering into a contractually torturous union that will involve some level of pain for the girl. And after doing a little bit of digging, it turns out the Fifty Shades franchise started out as fan fiction for the teen romance series of Twilight. So my connection of the two isn't that far off, but comment down below if you already knew that. So Fifty Shades, written by a woman, E.L. James, and Twilight, also written by a woman, Stephanie Meyer, begs the question, is torture hot? Is pain intoxicating? Let's try and examine why it might be as written from a woman's perspective in relation to these two franchises. So both of these franchises features a plain, timid, awkward girl. And honestly, Bella and Anastasia are kind of written pretty brilliantly in my opinion, as their personalities are at such a deficit that any woman could easily insert themselves into either of their shoes. They are both blank canvases. They are just presented as timid and plain, and neither of them are creative or overly sexual in looks or attitude. Neither of them have any kind of unique skills or talents or strange hobbies, from what I can recall at least, they are literally blank canvases for you to impose yourself on. And then there's the guy, conventionally attractive and powerful. Edward Cullen is a powerful, supernatural, superior in strength and speed vampire. And Christian from Fifty Shades is this wealthy businessman with a helicopter and sick ass penthouse in Seattle. And what both of these women, Bella and Anastasia come to yearn for is being quote unquote turned out by their male love interest. Bella literally wants to turn into a vampire and Anastasia had a curiosity for some kink and wants Christian to smooth that out for her. Both Fifty Shades and Twilight, these franchises were wildly popular amongst women, both young and old, but why? I think A, as I noted earlier, the personality of the character of both Bella and Anastasia are so purposefully underdeveloped that any woman can see themselves in their place. And then B, maybe torture is hot, but only if the woman is seemingly in control of her destiny, her fate. Only if the woman wants it and only if it's on her terms. Like if both Bella and Anastasia left all devices to the man and Anastasia ended up signing that BDSM contract with Christian with all of its punishments and rules and Bella not willingly wanting to turn and become a vampire to spend eternal life with Edward, these would be vastly different stories. And we see all sorts of commentary about how sick it was for Edward to essentially never let Bella grow old and die, and how Christian took advantage of that shy, awkward girl and made her a submissive. But that's not how either of these stories happened because at the end of the day, it was the woman who called the shots. I suppose what's erotic in nature about these films is that these plain, shy, timid women both actually hold and exercise a great deal of power when it comes to these powerful men that they are dealing with. And that's the pull for women. The ordinary girl getting everything she's always wanted and more. 